Now, I know that I am late for the Dragon Ball Festival. I was traveling around Zhoushan for the holiday and you can find out everything about it on my Instagram. So I came back yesterday and it's safe to say that I didn't have the best day. So I really, really need this! As I mentioned previously, during the Spring Festival, your company or your university in China will offer you gifts for major festivals. And this is one of them. Dragon Boat Festival. It's not my favorite, if I'm being honest. Different festivals have different foods associated with them, and for Dragon Boat Festival we eat zongzi, which is just meh. I might change my mind about zongzi today because there is a variety of zongzi right here, but first, lean in for a story. The reason we eat zongzi for Dragon Boat Festival is because of the legend associated with it. And as it is with legends, there are many versions to it, but this one is my favorite. During the Warring States period in China, so about 300 years BC, there lived a man called Qu Yuan. Qi Yuan is quoted as the first poet of the Chinese Romanticism, and you will understand that if you read his poem called Li Sao, which is translated as Encountering Sorrow. And it's, um, it just gave me a lot of feels in my literature course, okay? But Qi Yuan was first and foremost a patriot, a politician a widely known and important man, and because of that he had many enemies. And it was due to a political intrigue that he was exiled from his home state of Chu. But it was during the exile that he wrote his best and most famous poems. As a great poet of our time, The Weeknd said, When I'm f***ed up, that's the real me. And so was Qi Yuan. That wasn't even the worst part, because during the Warring States period, as the name suggests, many states were fighting each other for power and glory, and eventually the capital of Chu State was seized by the Qin State. And this news was what drove Qi Yuan to jumping into a river while holding a rock. And he drowned. Allegedly, the body was never recovered. Spoiler! <laughs> the thing about bards is that you gotta have charisma. And when you have charisma, you have a lot of followers. And Qi Yan was very popular. So those people who loved him and cherished him dearly were trying to recover his body. And how they did was they would throw rice into the river so that the fish would leave his remains alone. And they would also play the drums to scare away the evil spirits. Now, the body was never found, but the traditions remained. The dragon boats are still racing, and we're still eating the dry chunks of rice. Fun. You know what else is fun? Unpacking gifts! Let's go! I really like that for once they went for practical packaging. I've seen people carrying picnic baskets, so I guess this is the motif this season. This dangly thing right here is a nice smelling pouch with herbs. It smells like chamomile, but it's probably more elaborate than that. It's just my Lao Wai tastes are plain. There are some occasions on which you can't really say a happy holiday. Like Dragon Boat Festival, well, the guy died, so we don't want to say Duan Wu Zhe Kuai Le. I still hear people saying that but if you are a pro, you will know to say Duan Wu Jie An Kang, which means I wish you peace and health. And that is a safe choice for any holiday. All right. So this is a very nice set of two glasses and a bottle of wine. Now, these are not shot glasses. These are legit wine glasses. How do I... Oh my God, I'm going to break it. So small and cute. Now this is Meijo. 12% alcohol. I will save that for later. Now what I want to know is what is in this box? Oh yes! 
All right, what we have here are super big duck eggs. Now, according to what it says here is just an egg cooked in salt. Not my favorite, but I will do it for science. Oh, the smell. Oh damn, it, it really is quite big for an egg. <laughs> this is the first time I see an egg packed in plastic that is still in a shell. It smells like an egg. Oh. Is it supposed to do that? There's oil leaking from the inside of it. How did they do that? No, this does not smell good. Oh boy. Well, it's way too salty. <laughs> the oil is everywhere. God, I need to open the window. <sighs> God, that was a disaster. Are duck eggs typically oily? Because it literally says it's just an egg and salt and water. Now I remember why I don't like these. <laughs> and this is what I like. A green bean cookie and it's shaped like some the Yes. Mm. The inside is just plain green bean. The egg disaster is forgiven. But we are still missing the most important thing. Now would you look at that? So we have six beautiful zonzes. Mugwort and red bean, cabbage and meat, chicken and mushrooms, egg yolk and meat, quinoa and taro? Quinoa? I am very curious about this one. I've never seen quinoa being used in a zongze. This is going to be interesting. And this is osmanthus. All right, I'm going to heat them up and see you in a minute. All right, so this is a nice little plate of bondage tamales. No joke, my Mexican classmates used to call these Chinese tamales. I should have noted which one's which. Because now I'm not sure. <laughs> so tzunzi is basically rice stuffed with filling and wrapped in bamboo leaves in a shape of a triangular thingy. Smells nice and sweet. You can see the color is a bit dark. This is very sweet. Yeah, this is definitely the red bean. Mm. This is way different than I remember. I had to heat them up on steam because I do not own the microwave. And I think this is what made the difference. So if I can recommend anything, just put them in a steamer for like 15 minutes and you're good. The outside is so dark, it almost looks like black sesame, but they didn't mention black sesame. I would really love some black sesame zongze. If there exists any, I will find it and I will get it because black sesame is my favorite flavor of any sweet. Mm. Before I came to China, my favorite ice cream used to be salted caramel. Now it's black sesame. Why am I talking about black sesame? There is no black sesame in this. But there is red bean, which is like the next best thing. This 
one is definitely lighter. I think this one is the Osmantus one. Oh, this one is way stickier. I will forever associate the taste of Osmantus with tea. Oh, hey. that's it. There's no filling in this one, it's just rice and Osmantus. Mm, that's a bit disappointing. But it's not as sweet as the other one. So that's good. Compared to the first one, there's really not much flavor in this. Top 10 foods that will take off your lipstick. It really, now it just tastes like sugar water. Nowadays, different companies want to make something new that people would post on Douyin and Xiao Hongshu. So they use rice flour instead of rice and that makes them see-through so you can see the filling inside the zongzi but it also makes them stickier this could have been a good ASMR video so this must be the quinoa one this one doesn't smell sweet at all I wish I had a salty one I think salty ones must be a lot better I can get a good angle on the filling in this one. Oh. Damn, the tar of flavor is really strong with this one. I think Poland is really a country of culinary crimes. We have stuff like rice with apple and cinnamon, pasta with strawberries, cheesecake with raisins. But this, this belongs on the culinary crime list. I feel like taro is already sweet. Why would you add sugar? Quinoa is a nice addition though. I think it balances out. You don't want a mouthful of the filling. Get a nice angle and get some rice in there as well. All right. I can't say that any of these hit the spot exactly. It's not horrible, but it's still not my favorite thing. Try again next year.